Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel with SparPointGroup.com. I'm here with Julian from Lyco Geosystems. How are you doing, Julian? Well, thank you, yeah. It's been a good two days. Yeah, we're at Spar Europe, and uh, one of the things that people have been really buzzing about is your new CloudWorks integration course, with Revit. Uh, people have been complaining in the past, they'd love to be able to use Point Clouds better in Revit. Sure. You know, is this a solution for them? Of course it's a solution for them. So the, the CloudWorks version we've got for Revit is also integrated with our PCE databasing. And as, as you know, PCE is the almost the industry standard now for taking in these very, very large data sets. We identify quite clearly that the BIM market is going to be a big market for laser scanning, a big market for surveying in, in particular. It's the legislation in Europe's changing. I think the way people are approaching BIM surveys and BIM modeling is changing. And there's going to be a big demand. And I think the good thing is for our survey customers, it's not it's a sort of market they can enter quite easily. It demands massive amount of scanning, sure. but it's different from the plant market. It doesn't require so much specialization. Mm -hmm. So to be a plant scanner, you need to do lots of scanning, but sometimes you need knowledge of the plant market. Right. I think most surveyors can actually handle scanning a large facility and using their current skills. So we therefore needed to provide them with the ability to do that modeling in, in, the, in the most popular software. Revit is the industry standard. Mm -hmm. And as this, uh, as, as, Europe, as the European market accepts Revit more and more, we want to be there at the front with offering our customers the ability to do that with the right. PC-enabled CloudWorks. And this is, I mean, this is a pain point for them right now. So, is, when is this available? Can I buy so, this right now, uh, or course, when does yeah. it come up? So we're looking at a December release date. Okay. So the actual release date is not fixed. The press release has gone out. It's, it's um, it's, it's a product which people will know about now. Mm -hmm. We've is got this something that you can that you can demonstrate in beta yep. form, yep. and they can yep. be talking to their people about exactly. this? So we've gone to our late we've gone to our late beta release now. So if there's any okay. people that actually want to contact Like and get on the beta program in the very very final stages, we can do. But this was a a, a, a product we finished. Great, it's ready to ship. Uh, so talk a little bit more about the sort of scan to bin market. Right now, most people when they talk bin, they talk about Greenfield, a brand mm. new building. Mm. Uh, where do you think the sort of biggest opportunity is if you want to get into BIM in an yeah, as-built environment? Yeah. So again, as-built BIM or brown, brownfield BIM scanning is going to be more important because at the moment, a lot of the large facilities are going to start using BIM if they choose to for facility management, not, not just for actually designing and uh, design and build, actually for facility management. This is one of the big values of BIM, the same way with the plant market, you know, having a, a 3D model to actually operate and maintain your plant is a, va a valuable thing to do. So there's two ways people will adopt the more brownfield as built thing, either because they see the value of the product, which is not so important as the second way, which is when the legislation tells you to because do it. Because they have to. When they have to. This is much the best way for all of us. We like this, we like this. And there's legislation in the UK, France, Germany, all of which is changing to say that all government buildings, the same ways in the US at the moment, have to Absolutely. be have to be BIM enabled, which is great for Revit. And hopefully great for um, Leica now we've got the Revit interface as well so I think this is, this is where the market grows and all the surveyors out there should realize this they should be thinking now mm -hmm. about trying to contact or get their skills at least and their knowledge set at least increased to be BIM aware and maybe make contacts with the right people in their, in their local area to make sure they can actually get into this market when it breaks. Absolutely I completely agree let's see where that market goes thank yeah. you so much for being here at SPAR we really appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you all for watching we'll see you next time. Thanks Dave bye bye thank you.